So we know we know, want to reach the prepared state. And so we need to actually call the prepare complete function on both of the enlistments. And we know we don't want to be calling commit complete though, just because we want the enlistment to still be in the prepared state, because we want them to be entering this function and reach this if case. So we agree that we'll use the prepared state. So here on purpose, And then we're gonna add a call to recover resource manager. And we're gonna give it the handle to the resource manager. And just to make it easier to debug, we're gonna just have a get character just before. Okay, so we have the code to change the state of the enlistment and we have the code to call the vulnerable function. So we have attached WinBag to the target VM and we have synced it with RedSync to the Ghidra instance. So we're gonna break in the debugger and set a breakpoint on the vulnerable function as well as the function being called from the vulnerable function. So now we have pushed the binary onto the target VM already. So we're gonna run it from the target VM. So we can see that it hangs. So if we go in the debugger, we see that it's calling the TM recover resource manager X function. However, it's not the right one because we see that it's actually called early in the code, but that's not the one we are interested in. We are interested in the one where we have changed the state of the enlistment already. So we can continue execution. Another time we see that TMP set notification resource manager is called. And again, it's not the one we're interested in. It's been called through recover transaction manager. So we keep going. So another way of doing it would be to disable the breakpoints and re-enable them later. We're going to disable the breakpoints. So here we are changing the state of the enlistments. We've changed them by calling pre prepare complete, and now we're going to call prepare complete. So we've called prepare complete now. So now we're going to call the recover resource manager, and hopefully we're going to reach the vulnerable function so we can re enable the breakpoints. I'm going to continue execution. So now we are in the vulnerable function. Let's debug it. So we need the F10 to step over. And we can do it from Git right itself. Okay, so in the debugger, we have stepped a couple of times. We see that it's actually going to test the states of the 
resource manager. So then he's doing a couple of tests. So here we actually want to skip that and just reach the beginning of the while loop. So we're going to set a breakpoint here with F2 and continue execution. So we can see we enter that while loop. So here we can see we actually inside the, the case where the enlistment is actually not finalized. And now we're going to be testing the enlistment flag. So state is at offset C0. So RX is actually the transaction. So we can confirm this is a valid cookie. The transaction points to itself. It has two enlistments, which is what we are expecting. And it is in the K transaction committed state. So even though we prepared the enlistment, the transaction itself is already committed. So let's have a look at the enlistment. So if we go back to Virgilus and look at the K transaction. We see it points to a list of enlistment and then each enlistment is going to be part of this next same transaction. So if we just subtract 78, we're going to go to the beginning of the enlistment. Okay, this is valid. The cookie is valid. So this is our first enlistment and the second enlistment will be This one, we should be able to confirm the grid are 02C4 and 02C5, which here, here we have 02C4 and 02C5. So these are two enlistments. The enlistments are in these states. If we go back to here, the test that the enlistment flags is not superior and the transaction is in the committed state. So it's going to go there. So we can see that the move BL R9B was actually the B send notification equal true. So now we're gonna set a breakpoint on this if condition, which actually tests BL. We use F2 and we continue execution. So we see that we have our B send notification set to one. So we know we're gonna go into this call, this TMP set notification resource manager call. 
and bim, it worked. So we have from our username binary, we call recover resource manager. It called our syscall, which made it go into kernel land. And then from kernel, it called the tm recover resource manager x function, which is our vulnerable function. And it ended up calling tmp set notification resource manager to send the notification to username. We've reached our goal. Thank you for watching.